Yes, I will keep it short so we have more time to... Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to this extraordinary movement lesson, a movement experience, something that has never been done before, something that I've invented or just discovered the past few weeks, something I would title tactile experiencing, but maybe that sounds quite old-fashioned, so let's call it ultra embodiment. And we will start this extraordinary movement class in lying down on our back. So I invite you to lie down on your back with your legs and arms extended. It's a very non-defensive position, something you hardly find in other methods, not in Tai Chi, not in Qigong, maybe in yoga. So I invite you to come to the floor and feel safe by lying on your back. And as in most of my classes, when we start on the back, take a moment to arrive on the floor and wait for your breath to calm down, for your heartbeat. Can you feel your heart? Can you, can you feel your heartbeat? Can you, you can feel your breathing, can you? And feel how your breathing becomes more regular and where you where did you put your arms to the side or did you place your hands on your body so you can feel your belly so maybe place your hands to the side so your hands are not touching your trunk or torso just the floor and you feel your arms on the floor resting and your shoulders resting where is it resting in your head resting on the floor and your chest resting on the floor your pelvis and your right leg and your left leg and maybe close your eyes and allow my voice to guide you and think about touch when you touch something, when you touch something with your hands or with your pointer finger, you poke at something, then you press down on something and you can feel if, that, if you press against an orange, how hard is the orange, how fresh is the orange, if you press against a sofa or a cushion. And if you press against the cushion, the cushion also presses against you. And it's not different with the floor now. Only now you're not actively pressing, but you're just resting on the floor and your body weight is pushing against the floor and the floor is pushing up against you. And you can feel these places, not so clearly, but still you can feel where you press against the floor and where the floor is pressing against you. Then bring your attention to your right leg. And if you have your eyes closed, you can observe your attention moving to your right leg. And so this is the question, where is your right leg? <laughs> if you have your eyes closed, you can feel yourself, you can feel your, maybe you can feel your hands very well left hand and your right hand and your fingers maybe you can feel even how maybe the blood the pulse your pulse is in your hands or you can feel a rushing like almost like the oxygen running through your body and maybe you can feel your breathing you can feel how the air is moving in and out of your nostrils maybe one nostril more than the other or maybe through your mouth you can feel the temperature almost of the air and you can you might feel your chest so it's easy to feel the head for the air is going through the nose and through the throat and into the chest but where is your leg your right leg how far away from your nose 
is your right leg. So it's like a branch going down, left, right, left, right, right, right leg, right leg, right leg. Yes, and then maybe you can feel where your right leg is touching the floor, pressing against the floor, and might not be a sharp image, but more like an area that's not very clear, but more like an area of touching the floor a bit more, a bit less. Maybe you can feel your heel, your right heel, the back of your heel. And maybe you can feel how the back of your heel is pressing against the floor. A little bit, just by its own weight. So you don't do anything, you just feel, you can feel the floor. And maybe on your lower leg, the calf, maybe a little bit on the outside. Maybe you can feel the floor with your right heel a little bit to the right of your right heel, on the right of your right heel and on the right of your calf. And now a movement instruction, a very peculiar one. I'm not instructing a movement, but I want you to look for a feeling, to search for a sensation. So now you can feel where you touch the floor with your right leg. So probably a little bit to the right of your right heel and a little bit on the outside of your calf. And I want you to touch the floor. <laughs> I want you to find this sensation. I want you to look for a sensation to find a sensation where you press the middle of your heel against the floor. Not pressing, pressing, but just like resting your heel, the middle of your heel against the floor and the middle of your calf. So not the outside of your calf, but the middle. So how can you change the sensation you have where your right leg is resting? So of course, there needs to be movement, but what kind of movement? How do you have to move your right leg so you can feel the middle of your heel, the exact back of your heel resting against the floor and the exact back of your calf resting against the floor? And you might feel some tension that, you, that it's work to move your leg into a place where you can feel your, the exact point of your heel on the floor behind you, behind the heel and your lower leg and then let go again. And when you let go, you can suddenly feel it's the outside of the heel again that's resting against the floor. And yes, the outside. So I'm just talking about where you can find the sensation. I'm not telling you what to do in terms of movement instruction, but so I'm not saying roll your leg, but I'm saying <laughs> look for a sensation. So again, look for that sensation where the back of your heel, where you can feel the back of your heel is pressing or resting against the floor and the exact back of your lower leg is resting against the floor. And feel when you do this, when you find this position, what else is happening in your body? Maybe you can feel some tension, suddenly tension in your left leg. Maybe you can feel how your breathing is constricted or maybe your jaw is locking up when you're looking for this movement. And then let go again. So do this a couple of times. So let go, fully rest on your back with your legs extended and then find that feeling where the back of your heel is pressing against the floor and the back of your lower leg is resting against the floor. Or maybe even further, that more the inside edge of your right heel is leaning against the floor. Or maybe a bit of the inside of your lower right leg is leaning, that you can feel the floor with the inside, more on the inside of your right leg or on the back of your right leg. or a little bit on the outside and then rest again. And you can do this 
find these positions, find these sensations faster, or very, very slow, really take your time to, to find this sensation of where you rest or press against the floor, and where the floor is pressing against you, on the inside edge of your right leg, or from behind your right leg, or a little bit on the outside of your right leg. So that's the first idea of this method, to find a movement through sensation, just by feeling, not by performing an instruction or executing an instruction, roll your leg to the left, that would be the instruction, but no, I want you to find the sensation that comes with it, the tension in your left leg. So when you roll your right leg to the left, when you're looking for that feeling where you lean against the floor more on the inside of your right leg, you can feel the tension in your left leg maybe, or maybe you can feel how you're pulled, how even your shoulders are pulled from one side to the other, or how your neck or maybe the, your head wants to roll and you discover, oh, I was holding my neck, actually, but if I really relax, you really relax to the floor. And when you look for this feeling of touching the floor with your right leg in different locations, you can feel how that affects everything else in your body. And also, if you really give yourself into this sensation and finding different sensation, you start to have an internal image of your right leg, you start to see your right leg with your mind's eye. The leg starts to have a shape in your mind's eye. And this form that was a little bit unclear in the beginning, starts to become more and more clear. Now, let's look for a different sensation. Look for a sensation where your right leg touches the floor on its outside edge. So, the outside edge of your right leg. Search for a feeling where you feel that the floor, that your, that the floor is moving. So it's not a static pressing, but there's a, a sliding feeling over your skin on your right leg. So the floor is sliding against your heel, the right heel on the outside and the outside edge of your right foot. And maybe you can feel the floor on the outside edge of your right lower leg. Look for a feeling of sliding and you can feel the direction where the floor is sliding over the outside edge of your right foot. And how does it feel to bend the knee? So that when the knee is bending, how does that feel like? What is the sensation of a bending knee? How do you know in your feeling? So in theory, there's receptors in our joints that will tell our brain if there is some bending happening and some stretching or shortening. But can you feel that? Can you really feel that when you feel the floor sliding over the right ankle on the right side and the right outer edge of your sole of the right foot? Or maybe take a rest. So how far is your right foot away from your left leg. Can you feel that? Can you feel your left leg resting and the right foot resting on the floor? And how far away is the right foot from your left knee, for example? Or how does it feel like when you search with the sole of your right foot for your left leg, when the right foot is searching for the left leg and when the right foot finds your left leg and then, of course, when they find each other, they touch each other. So the left leg is doing nothing, left leg is just resting, but the right foot comes to find your left leg. And how does that feel like for the left leg when the right foot finds 
the left leg? And how does it feel like for your right foot to find the left leg? And if you <laughs> move your right foot away from your left leg, how can you feel how far you have traveled? So there's a lot of processing going on because only through observation and being attentive and how much of this sliding feeling you have, you can feel the floor slide on your foot. <laughs> and then find this first position again where you had the feeling of a of a long right leg where you touch the floor maybe even with the back of your thigh of the right leg and how does it feel like to rest now after this short actually very short exploration of sensation Let's find one more sensation. Find a sensation where the sole of your foot is touching the floor. The sole of your right foot is touching the floor. So the, the sole of your right foot, the, the berries of your toes, the right foot is touching the floor and the, the, the rest of the right leg is not touching the floor. So maybe the right buttock is touching the floor and the right and the sole of the right foot is touching the floor and the, everything else is not touching. So look for this feeling. What do you have to do to find this feeling that you can feel the floor with the sole of your right foot and the rest of your right leg cannot feel the floor. It's only the sole of your right foot that's touching the floor. And feel where do you have tension that you don't need. So while you move your leg into a situation where you find this feeling of touching the floor, the sole of your right foot is touching the floor and the rest of your right leg isn't. and search for this feeling where you don't have any tension in your right leg. You don't have to hold your right leg at all. It's just the sole of your right foot touching the floor and you're as much at ease and at rest as before. So where does your right foot, the sole of your right foot has to go so you don't feel any effort, any work in your leg. It's just the foot is touching the floor, is pressing against the floor. And you could sleep like this because there's no effort anywhere. And then again, search for the feeling, the feeling we had in the beginning where the back of your heel is touching the floor and maybe a little bit to the right of your heel and the lower leg is touching the floor and maybe the back of your leg is touching the floor. Search this feeling. And maybe it's different now. Maybe you have a, the image of your right leg is more clear. You can see it in your mind's eye and you can feel much more now and it might feel much more gentle and at peace, isn't it? Take a moment to just lay and feel how your right leg feels, where you can feel how your right leg presses or leans against the floor, contrary to your left one contrary to your arms, where your hands touch the floor, where your elbows touch the floor, how your head is resting against the floor.
Okay, so we will stop here, only do the right leg, so you can observe the difference between your right leg and your left leg, not only now, but tomorrow, two days later, if this few minutes we did now with this tactile experiencing practice, if, if just a little bit of thinking and talking and feeling can make a difference that lasts a few days, and then later, after a few days, you can do the same video on the, the same sequence on the left side or talk yourself through the same thing. I think we need language for it. I think it only works with language by talking through ourselves through it and making these discoveries consciously. So it's about consciousness. All right, so I hope this made sense to you. I hope you understood what I'm trying to, my idea, what I'm trying to show you here with this lesson and with this kind of talking and thinking with this kind of method. All right, so uh, last thing to do is to come up and see how it is in standing. So <laughs> please find a way, find a sensation where you only feel the floor with your, the soles of your feet. So we, when only the soles of your feet are pressing against the floor and nothing else, not your back, not your head, not your shoulders, it's only the soles of your feet pressing against the floor. Look for that sensation. How do you arrive at that? And if you do that and you close your eyes and you can clearly feel, okay, the right leg might feel different than your left one. Maybe you have a a straight line down on your right leg in your mind's eye and you can feel are you more is your weight more in the front at your toes or the, the forefoot or is your weight more on the outside edge or the inside edge your heel where is your weight on your right sole where is the weight on your left sole So now you're pressing against the floor only with the soles of your feet. <laughs> so I hope this makes sense to you. I find it highly fascinating. I love what I have discovered. I hope you find the benefit, you, you find the feeling. I hope your leg feels as good as my leg does after this exercise. As nimble and smooth and aware. This is like building consciousness. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.